Arizona Superintendent of Public Instruction Tom Horn has recruited a Scottsdale parent to sue a Phoenix school district over its dual language program. The lawyer handling the lawsuit is Tom Horn's wife, Carmen Horn. Fox 10's Lindsay Regas spoke with all parties involved in this lawsuit against Creighton School District. Lindsay. Mark and Christina, this new lawsuit was filed just a few days after a judge dismissed a similar lawsuit filed by the Arizona Superintendent of Public Instruction. The judge dismissed that lawsuit, saying Tom Horn has no authority under state law to file it. Horn made it known he would not stop with legal action and that the next time it's brought up, the lawsuit will come from a parent. I heard he needed help with this lawsuit from a parent. I was more than happy to volunteer, so I reached out to him, actually. Patricia Pella is a Scottsdale Unified School District parent who says her immigrant husband benefited from being immersed in English. He immigrated to the United States from China at the age of seven, not knowing one word of English, and he was fully immersed in English in school, and he quickly became proficient in English, and he's done very quite well thanks to it. That's why Pellet believes dual language programs in classrooms are not beneficial. Full immersion works. These children are speaking their native language at home, right? And now they're speaking it half during the day. Where are they practicing their English? In 2000, 60% of voters approved ballot measure 203, a law to end dual language learning for non-English speakers. For decades, Tom Horn, the Arizona Superintendent of Public Instruction, has made it a priority to get rid of dual language programs in schools. Recent data shows the structured English immersion schools are four times better than the the dual language schools. When Scottsdale parent Patricia Pellet reached out, Horn connected her with an attorney who is also his wife. She's an excellent lawyer, so I thought she'd be great to do it. Attorney Carmen Horn filed a similar lawsuit to her husband's that was recently dismissed by the judge. This is an initiative that was voted on by the people in Arizona. So it's the law that you should um, bring in children that cannot speak English um, to uh, an English immersion system so that they can become proficient. She argues she was immersed in English when she moved here from Cuba, which helped her learn the language in four months. It was pretty easy to pick up the language when you're immersed in it and constantly communicating in that in all your classes. The new lawsuit is only against Creighton School District in Phoenix. Creighton has a 5% rate of of students becoming proficient English in one year, which is pathetically low. And I think that helps illustrate the point. The Creighton School District Superintendent and all five governing board members are named in this lawsuit. I don't see how being uh, strong linguistically or being bilingual or trilingual is going to hurt anyone. In fact, I think it's only going to make our students more successful. Governing board member Katie Gibson McLean is listed in the lawsuit. The new lawsuit um, is a little bit different in that it's requesting for relief that each one of us board members be removed from office and barred from holding office for the next five years um, and so that's much more extreme than what was what was in the last lawsuit and we weren't personally named in the last lawsuit either. She says the district has dual language immersion programs at two of its schools. I believe he is trying to get some sort of injunct injunctive relief from the courts to stop us from having those programs in our school. As an alumni of the Creighton School District who grew up in the diverse community, she's frustrated with this lawsuit. I would imagine that Mr. Horn and his attorneys probably were just finding any person that's cooperative with them to file a lawsuit because I'm sure they knew that the dismissal was coming in the last case and we're ready to file a new one right away um, to pursue, uh, continue to pursue the same litigation. Horn says he is appealing his original lawsuit. But in the meantime, uh, any parent in the state clearly has the right to do it because it's right there in the initiative. Any parent can sue any, any district in the state. The school district says its dual language immersion model was approved by the State Board of Education as a model for English language development. In a statement, it says we are working with our legal counsel on this matter. We always strive to do what is best for our kids. We will continue to support parent choice and the programs that are supported by our community and families. Tom Horn says other districts aren't named in this lawsuit like the previous one because he hopes that when the judge determines this school district is violating the law, other districts will fall in line. Line. He says 10 school districts are violating the law. In studio, t studio tonight, Lindsay Regis, Fox 10 News.